Sea Monsters. Sea Monsters is a kids game and this game comes in a 10. Uh, this game doesn't sell for much and it didn't get that great of ratings either so I'm gonna leave this here. Hmm, where are the Wild and Guard game? Hmm. Here we have another kids game. Um, again, this game doesn't go for that much and I don't see us playing it <laughs> at all so I'm gonna leave this here. Well, check this out. The Yam Slam game. This game is a fun twist on Yahtzee. We actually have the smaller copy of this game, but we're definitely going to get this one. This goes for about $20. There we go. Here's a game about stamp collecting. This is from the late 80s. Uh, this one doesn't go for much, but you know what? It's only a dollar. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick it up and try it out. Oh, looky here. An old payday. Ah, yes. The classic payday game. I think this game is missing a part or two and it doesn't really go for much, so I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, sealed fish or cut bait. Here's a unique little dice game that we have that deals with fishing. Pretty fun little game. Uh, again, this doesn't go for much, so I'm not leaving it. Here we go. Here we have an old vintage plastic game sheet for the game Rummy Royal. This goes for about $20 to $25 online. I'm definitely going to pick this up. Hmm, an apples apple I've never heard of. Apples to apples freestyle, where you actually will get to write your answers. Uh, we have an apples to apples game, and we like that one a lot, but this one doesn't sound like one we like, so I'm going to leave it. Here we have Deep Seaopoly, another Monopoly variant. Uh, I think I can get about 10 bucks for this online. I'll go ahead and pick this up. Here we go. My wife found this realm for $10. Here's a game that got good ratings, but it's a pretty deep strategy game, even though it's old. Not something I think we'd play that much, if at all, so I'm going to leave it. Well, this is interesting. Bride Bingo for $2. Hmm, an interesting variant on Bingo for sure. This is another vintage game that's not worth that much online, so I'm going to leave it here. Don't see us playing it. Here we have Electronic Talking Battleship. I've sold this game for about $20 online before. Uh, they want a little bit much for this, and the challenge with this is trying to get a working copy. I don't know if this one works or not. I think I'm probably going to leave this here. There we go. Zurika. Here we have Cranium Zurika. Uh, we have this game. It's a cute little kid's game. Uh, it doesn't go for much online, though. I'm going to leave this here. Well, check this out. The real grand game. Zula Retro. $2. Well, we've gone from one zoo to another. <laughs> I'm definitely going to pick this game up. This game's complete. Uh, online, it goes for about $30, $35 or so, so I'm going to definitely pick this up. So here's an old vintage simulation golf board game from the 80s, I believe. Uh, the prices vary on this, uh, but I think I'm going to pick it up anyway and see if I can sell it for a little bit. Hmm, here's something interesting. <laughs> Buck Fever. Here is a deer hunting game, Buck Fever. Uh, well, it's only a buck fifty, and I think it actually goes for about thirty bucks. So I'll go ahead and pick this up too. Oh, looky here! Casino Yahtzee. Here's a pretty fun version of Yahtzee if you can find it. I think this goes for about fifteen dollars on eBay in good shape. This one's not in good shape and it's missing parts, so I'm gonna have to leave it. We have a gravity maze game. Sell a few of these. Here's a cool little game that sells for about $11 if everything's in there. Unfortunately, everything's not in there, so I have to leave it. Ah, yes, the famous mousetrap game. $3. Out of all the games I've seen, I've seen this one probably the most. I haven't really been able to sell it for that much lately. I think I'm going to just leave this here. Okay, okay, we got a backgammon game here from Preston. I wonder if this is worth anything. It's a vintage backgammon set for sure. But it's not a high quality set and it's not worth much, so I'm going to leave this here. Yeah, Piranha Panic. I've seen this game around a few times. I have yet to find a complete copy of this game. Same with deal with this. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to complete this, though. You can get about 15 bucks for a complete copy on eBay. Let's see. Duet Bridge. Interesting. Let's see. Ooh, this is old school. 99 cents. So here's a vintage Parker Brothers game from the 60s called Duet Bridge. It's two-player bridge. But the funniest thing about this game is the message on here. Mommy is fat. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get the game just for that, but it looks like a pretty cool little game. Well, here we have Munchkin Fu. Heck of a price for this one, plus it's complete. I'm definitely gonna pick this up. I'm gonna try to see if I can sell it. I think I can get about 20 bucks for this. Okay, here's some of what we found. Start with Munchkin Fu. Uh, this game came complete with everything. Uh, it's in really good shape, so uh, this one should sell for a little bit. We hope. <laughs> Alright, here's Piranha Panic. I'll just show you the board here. Uh, rather unique looking thing. I just got a couple of parts on order for it. Here's a stamping game. I did a review on this already. I'll just show you the board and just the parts really quick. Uh, the board kind of looks like a post-it stamp when you open it. Uh, it's in good shape. Not bad. Here's a Zuloretta game, or Reto, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, anyway, this game came with everything, and it's in really good shape. Don't think it's been played that much at all. Uh, definitely going to be a keeper here. Here's the Ultimate Golf game. I'm planning on selling this, uh, but check this out. Uh, this has like eight boards of different uh, golf courses, I think, and they're both double-sided, and you're going to play on this, and it's a simulation. Here's the Rummy Royal uh, pad here. Uh, it's real simple. It's in really good shape. Here is the Buck Hunter game. Um, here is the board. It's pretty colorful. Looks uh, pretty nice. And uh, everything is here except for the instructions, but I was able to print those out. And finally, here is Deep Sea Opoly. Uh, this is a very nice looking game. Uh, definitely nice theme. Here's the board. Really, really colorful. Kind of reminds me of SpongeBob a little. But anyway, that does it for us this month or this week, you guys. I will see you soon. Y'all take care.